Estimating Sums, Lesson 5.3. So we know that one little square is a one. And we know now that this long one is a long of 10. And if we have 10 of the little ones, that would be the same thing as a long, wouldn't it? We have 10 units here. We have 5 plus 5, that equals 10, right? So that's the same amount. This long is the same amount as those 10 single ones. Well, when we estimate, we look at the number of 10s and 1s. And if it's got a lot of 1s, if it's got 9, 8, 7, 6, or 5 of these single ones, we estimate up to the next tens place. See? If it's got less than this, we just stay at the same tens place. So, if you see a number that's got these units in the ones place, and we're adding it to another number that has units in the ones place, we might be able to make another ten. We can estimate sums by using groups of 10. Now look what we have here. We have a 10 and a 10. That's two 10s. And we have two ones. Two 10s and two ones is 22. We want to add it to one 10 and one one. Well, one 10 and one one is an 11. If we wanted to estimate the sum, we count the tens, one, two, three, and we see that there's not very many ones, so we just stick with the three tens. So if we wanted to estimate 22 plus 11, we would estimate it's about 30. See? It's not an exact amount, it's an estimate. We're guessing about how many it is. When we have more ones, they can make another ten. Here we have two tens and nine ones. Two tens and nine ones is 29. And we have one ten and two ones. One ten and two ones is a 12. That's almost another 10, isn't it? And if we gave one of these to this side, it would be another 10, wouldn't it? So now we can count one, two, three, four tens, because we can count all of these as almost another 10. Four tens would be about 40. See? So that's how we can use tens to estimate a sum, and the ones, if there's a lot of them, can be counted as another 10. See? 10, 20, 30, and that would be the 40. See? So let's try this. Here we've got one 10 and three ones. One ten and three ones is a thirteen. And here we have three tens and one one. Three tens and one in the ones place is a thirty-one. Thirteen plus thirty-one is about, do you know, twenty, thirty, forty, or fifty. Let's count the tens. One, two, three, four. We don't have a lot of ones, so we can just say it's about four tens, isn't it? So if you said 40, you're correct. Let's try another one. Now we have one, two, three tens and five ones. Three tens and five ones is 35. And we want to add it to four tens and six ones. Four tens and six ones is 46. Now, we know there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven longs of 10. So that would be seven tens, wouldn't it? But look at the ones place. There's five here and five here. Could we make another 10 out of that and go from seven tens to eight tens? Yeah, we could. So 35 plus 46 is about 80. See how we did that? The ones place helped us make another 10. See? 
let's try that again. Now we have 1, 10, and 9 ones. That's a 19. And we want to add it to 1, 10, and 8 ones. That's an 18. We know we've got 1, 2 lines of 10, but look at the ones place. Does that look like it's almost 10? Yeah, it does. So we have two tens. We can say this is almost three tens, and that's almost a ten, isn't it? That's almost four tens. So we can say 19 plus 18 is about four tens. It's about 40. Because we can almost make two more tens out of this. See? We're trying to find about how many it is. Let's try another one. Now we've got 53 plus 21. We look at the tens. We've got five tens and we've got two tens. Five plus two is seven tens. And look at the ones place. There's not very many, is there? So it's about seven tens, isn't it? And seven tens is 70. So we can say 53 plus 21 is about 70. Let's try it again. 29 plus 31. Well, let's look at the tens place. We have a 2 plus a 3. Well, that's five tens, isn't it? Now let's look at the ones place. Ooh, we have a nine here. That's almost a ten, isn't it? And 29 is very close to 30. So we can add another ten. So now we have five tens, the two and the three, plus this nine is almost a ten. That's going to give us six tens, isn't it? See that? That would be 60, wouldn't it? This 29 is very close to 30 with three tens. So we have three tens and three tens. See? That makes a 60. Or you can look at it as it's the two plus the three tens, and that is one more that's close to a 10. So it's about 60. Let's try another one. 71, well that's very close to 70, isn't it? And 12 is very close to 10. We add the tens place, seven plus one is an eight, so it's about eight tens. So this one is about 80. See? It's not exactly 80, but it's about 80. Okay? Let's try it one more time. We have 18 plus 69. What 10 is 18 close to? Is it close to 10, 20, 30, 40? Well, 18 is very close to 20, isn't it? What 10 is 69 close to? Is it close to 50, 60, 70, 80? That's very close to 70, isn't it? It just needs one more. So we can say 20 plus 70, see? We have two tens, and seven tens is nine tens. And nine tens is 90, see? We're estimating the amount. We're finding about how many it is. Let's do some problem solving. Bob worked for 42 hours this week and 41 hours last week. How many hours did Bob work in all? So first, let's circle the important words. He worked for, this is important, 42 hours. And it's important that last week he worked for 41. And what is it asking of us? It's asking how many hours he worked in all. 
So that tells us it's going to be addition, doesn't it? We're going to have to add. We look at the tens place and we look at the ones place. We think. We need to estimate. We don't need an exact amount because our choices are about 80 or about 90. So it doesn't have to be exact. And we think he worked about 40 this week because 42 is close to 40. He worked about 40 last week because 41 is also close to 40. So if he worked about 40 this week and about 40 last week, 40 plus 40 is 80. So 42 plus 41 is about 80. 80 hours. That's the answer. See? All right. Do you see how we got that? We found what number they were close to. 42 is close to 40 and 41 is close to 40. If one of the numbers was 49, it would have been closer to 50, wouldn't it? And then the 90 would have been the answer because we would have had 40 plus 50. But it was just 40 plus 40 because the 42 and the 41 are both close to 40. See? All right. So that's estimating sums. I don't want you to confuse this with rounding off. We'll get into that later on. Estimating means just making a smart guess, an educated guess, for an answer. All right? We're going to start talking about regrouping when we add two-digit numbers. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.